When one hears the word survive, their mind tends to envision a specialist out in the wilderness, but to survive does not always mean to outlast the harsh reality of nature. Sometimes surviving can be defined as mere luck. It was a bustling day in the city of Xicheng, China, when out of nowhere, an unwary little girl decided to cross the road. A nearby CCTV captured her as she sprinted past a few stopped cars. As she began to cross into oncoming traffic, a white SUV drove over her, knocking her to the ground. Before the frightened girl could pick herself back up, another vehicle drove over her as well. The girl was left lying in the middle of the road, utterly dazed, until her fearful grandmother and a bystander picked her up off the ground and carried her to safety. The girl was immediately taken to the nearest hospital and astonishingly only suffered mild head injuries after her head scraped against the bottom of both vehicles. She was very fortunate to have survived an accident many wouldn't have. Elephants may seem like gentle animals, and at times they can be, but when agitated, they are colossal-sized nightmares, ready to crush anything or anyone standing in their way. In 1989, at the San Diego Animal Park, a 21-year-old zookeeper named David Sao Marcos was working in the Asian and African elephant yards, when out of nowhere, an 8,000-pound elephant named Cindy charged towards him in an act of aggression. Thankfully, she only destroyed his wheelbarrow. But as David frantically rushed to the gate, Cindy pushed through before he could close it. The infuriated elephant advanced towards David, who was thrown against the wall from the force of the gate. Cindy then attempted to kill him. Hunching against the wall saved David from being splattered by the head of the weighty beast. Cindy almost killed David by pushing him out onto the concrete walkway. However, she backed away when other workers came to David's rescue. David Sal Marcos was promptly sent to the hospital but only suffered from a broken collarbone, several bruises, and a few scrapes. The truth later surfaced that David repeatedly abused Cindy, likely triggering her rampage. Since the attack, David is no longer employed at the zoo and refuses to work with animals. Mount Everest, a spectacular peak, a mountain so great most everyone knows it by name, reaching a breathtaking 29,029 feet high. Its stunning scenery attracts people from every corner of the world, and although many enjoy hiking the valley below, one unlucky couple was mercilessly confronted by Everest's wrath. In 2015, 26-year-old Holly Cowie and her boyfriend, 29-year-old Axel Haudiket, were enjoying the landscape with their guide near the village of Langtang, Nepal when they suddenly experienced a 7.8 magnitude earthquake. At first, they thought it was a fascinating experience, but they quickly realized an impending avalanche was about to strike. The ground shook as the rumbling of icy sludge drew closer. As they gazed in the direction of the mountain, a foreboding cloud of dust descended towards them. Holly, Axel, and their guide could only stand behind a tree as the darkness enshrouded them. Soon, they couldn't see each other, completely covered by the thickened ice and mud. However, as Axel looked down, he saw that his girlfriend was below, crouching against the tree. When they climbed out of the muck, they found their guide, who led them down the valley. They came across several other stranded people, some injured as they made their way to the British Embassy. Holly and Axel were eventually flown back to the United Kingdom,
but they will always remember their very, very close brush with death. One day, in the state of West Bengal, India, a woman crossed the railroad tracks when she slipped and fell. Unfortunately, before she could get to safety, a freight train quickly came rushing through. The crowd watched in horror as the seemingly endless train moved over the rails with the woman underneath. However, as the final car moved over where the woman was lying, the crowd of onlookers were astounded to find her alive and barely scraped. The woman was helped up and walked away as if nothing had happened. In 2016, 30-year-old Josh Reichert and his wife, Katrin Kim, visited Soul Duck Falls in Olympic National Park, Washington to celebrate their wedding anniversary. However, neither of them expected their special day to turn into utter dread. Josh leapt from the side of the rushing river onto the rocks resting amidst the falls. However, he soon realized he could not jump back onto the mainland. While testing the water to see if he could swim, the current caught him and he plummeted down the violent falls. His wife screamed in the background, desperately begging anyone nearby to call 911. Josh fell down three waterfalls, a total of 70 feet, but miraculously survived. He only suffered from shattered feet as well as additional cuts and bruises. It took nine and a half hours for rescuers to reach Josh at the bottom. They hauled him in a basket up the steep hillsides, after which he was promptly transported to the Olympic Medical Center. Josh has remarked on his perilous accident, stating, Don't ever risk something that is so life-threatening over something so small. That's all for this episode. Be sure to check out another one of my videos, and of course, subscribe to my channel now, because you won't want to miss what's next. And I'll see you next time.